Hey folks, Danny here from Noclip with a Noclip update. We've never really done just a general update on what's going on. Uh, usually we, I edit trailers kind of at the end of a project and then we kind of use those as the way to tell you what's coming up. But they take a lot of time and honestly with all this quarantine stuff it's kind of more difficult to do everything. So it's just one thing that's, I don't know, fallen by the wayside. We just don't have the time to do it. So instead I've just decided to make a bunch of notes and tell you what's going to come up this month. I know, what a novel idea. I'm just going to tell you the documentaries that are coming. Uh, and kind of generally what's going on here at Noclip, um, how we're tackling projects uh, for the rest of the year and all the other sort of fringe little bits and bobs that you mightn't have realized that are going on. So uh, let's jump in. This, if you think about how many years Arcane's been around, 20 years, but what they shipped before we all got involved in Bethesda, it was only a handful of things. It was like Arx Fatalis and Dark Messiah and then a the bunch of canceled stuff in a decade. And, and that's, yeah, and that's a long time to keep a company alive. Okay, first things first, our documentary on Arcane. This is one we've been working on in some form or another for what feels like forever, definitely at least a year, um, probably two when, when we talk about the amount of planning that went into it. Uh, we filmed in both Lyon, France and in Austin, Texas. And the idea was to basically do a real deep dive into the history of uh, Arcane Studios. It's been around for about 20 years. They made games like Arx Fatalis, Dark Messiah of Might and Magic, and of course, Prey and Dishonored. Uh, we're actually gonna have separate documentaries on Dishonored, sort of the Dishonored franchise, and Prey, two separate docs going up uh, in the summertime, probably like June, maybe July, but later this month on the 25th of May, we're gonna be launching our documentary on the history of Arcane. Um, we've managed to interview people, like I said, in both continents. We interviewed Rafael Colantonio uh, over Zoom because we w didn't manage to get him before the quarantine stuff happened. And without getting into the weeds too much on it, it's the most exciting project we've had in a while. And not just for Arcane fans. If you're a fan of Arcane, I think it's going to be really special because we're going to dive into how sort of all of those games were made. And it's kind of delicate. We're still working with everyone to make sure everything lands the way we need it to. Um, it's been a lot of work, a lot of work behind the scenes, kind of just making it all happen. But we're going to have some really special stuff in that documentary. Uh, if you're a fan of first person shooters, um, uh, if you're a fan of uh, deep video game history, I think you are going to really enjoy what we put out. And I'm so bloody excited, but I can't talk about it anymore because if I say anything else, the world will collapse. Even more than it already has. But I still have Diet Coke in this world, so that's fine. We don't, they're, they don't sponsor us. We don't take through sponsorship. Patreon.com slash no clip. Okay, and that's Arcane, but we have a big studio doc coming before that. It's coming next week, so let's talk about that. We kind of sat back a bit and went, do you know what? Nobody's done a survival horror game and we could use the same technology as we used on Viking actually for, for an alien game. Al Hope kind of set out a, a five page kind of vision document of what an alien survival horror game would be. And Sega went, there is no way we want to do another alien game, right? No chance. So go back, think again. Won't you please will you do an Olympics game, please? And we went, right, the only way to really do this is Skunk works it. So we did a demo in five weeks and we didn't tell Sega we were doing it. And we used the tech from Viking. So last summer, I took a couple of weeks off. I went home to Ireland and instead of us not filming anything, what we decided to do was do another guest documentary. We did one a couple of years ago uh, with Alana Pierce, uh, then of IGN, now of Rooster Teeth. Uh, who did the documentary on Dream Daddy, and that was produced by Jeremy Jane, who's our uh, camera op. So Jeremy flew to England and worked with Chris Bratt from People Make Games, which is one of my favorite YouTube channels. Chris knew a bunch of the people at a Creative Assembly. We've had people asking us to do something on PC games, on British games, on real-time strategy games. So it just felt like a really good fit. So uh, the guys went over there, filmed a shed load of interviews, 
Uh, and then what's really special is Chris actually flew to Tuscany in Italy to interview Tim Ansel, who is the founder of Creative Assembly, who no longer works there. He was kind of pushed out uh, after the Sega acquisition, after he sold it to Sega. So the documentary covers the history of the f uh, studio right from the start when they were porting FIFA uh, to PC, all the way to Three Kingdoms, which came out last year. If you're in England, we're going to put it up midnight on Pacific time on... I guess Tuesday the 12th, the morning of it. So that would be like 8 a.m. British summertime because we figured it's a UK doc. It's the first real sort of UK doc we've done. So might as well put it up uh, early, bright and early for your, your morning cup of tea. <laughs> so those are the docs that are like actually coming. Those are the dates they're coming in. Uh, but I want to talk to you about sort of what we're doing in relation to all of this COVID-19 quarantine stuff, sort of how we're keeping everything running. Uh, so let's talk about that. Man. I was worried that the whole place would smell like crap because I wasn't sure if we took the trash out. And I didn't, but there's probably not much too bad in there. Man, it's weird to be here. It's real weird to be here. So if you're a patron, you've seen the behind the scenes stuff where, you know, we've gotten out of the studio. I brought Jeremy his PC so he can edit stuff uh, and color grade stuff at home and also so he can play Valorant. Uh, he's playing a lot of Valorant right now. So we've been working from home and we were lucky in a way that once all this kicked in, we had so much stuff to edit. We had the Creative Assembly thing, we had the Arcane stuff, we had the Outer Worlds project that was filmed in February. So that's kind of why we stretched that out into a series. And we still have some other stuff left in the can. We still have a bunch of the interviews we filmed at GDC last year. Actually going back as far as some of the other projects we've done over the years, like the Half-Life doc, there's a bunch of stuff, a bunch of spin-off videos I never made from that. Um, so we actually have quite a well that we can go back to. Um, and we're probably going to be doing that and using our patrons as a divining rod to figure out which ones we should do first. But outside of that, we're still filming stuff. So we were going to do a project kind of on the West Coast. That whole thing has shifted now to an online interview production. So instead, we've recorded a bunch of interviews with some cool folks about a game that's coming out. And we'll be putting it together probably in a different way. We'll have to produce these differently because we won't have Jeremy's beautiful shots for everything. We're going to keep telling stories. We're just going to sort of change the way we do it for a while. The biggest example of this probably will be Hades because we are filming the series Developing Hell. We're continuing to do it. Uh, episode four went up a number of months back. I think it was in February, maybe, or March. It's all on time. It's just confusing at the moment. But we've been filming episode five basically over Zoom, just like doing Zoom meetings. The folks at Supergiant have been recording little diaries at home. And that's kind of our, our quarantine documentary, for want of a better term. So that's kind of our plan. So outside of regular no clip stuff, which will keep coming, uh, filmed stuff, uh, certainly for the next like three or four months at least, uh, we are also working on all, all these other types of projects. So there's no, there's no chance that the uh, channel's gonna get quiet or anything like that. And that's basically it. A couple of little bits of housekeeping though, I just wanna let you folks know, we've never promoted the fact that we have a podcast. So, and, and probably because it's changed in format an, a number of times at the start, it was like really highly edited. I spent like, you know, a couple of weeks on each episode, just like tinkering. And then it became like an interview series where I interview developers and we just wanted to do something a little bit more stable. We're, we're approaching a half a million subs here. We really wanna build a community and, and give people like a, you know, something that they can come back to week on, week out because, the docs just are so spread out because they take so long to make. So uh, the podcast is now a sort of weekly check-in with myself, Jeremy, our camera op, and Frank, who's our community manager. And we're theming every episode around the word, a cheat code we're calling it. So last week it was travel. And we basically talked about travel, how I went on this weird pilgrimage in World of Warcraft and how Frank is enjoying Yakuza because he's never been to Japan before. And we're going to try and do this every single week. So if you are interested in a podcast, there's no shortage of video games podcasts out there. But if you're interested in something that's a bit more about the sort of like creation of games and get inspired by games for the work that we create here on Noclip. Just search for Noclip on your podcast app of choice, uh, or you can go to our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Noclip podcast. And then in terms of the sort of business side of everything, um, I think we're relatively protected at the moment from everything. The one thing that really sucks is that we spent, you know, a year saving up to get this studio and then we started to record some really cool stuff there like the interview with Hugo about the doom demons ended up being one of our most watched videos ever but we try and creatively problem solve this stuff as much as we can so we have other ideas for what we'll do in the studio myself and jeremy once we're able to get back in and we can test ourselves and make sure that we're quarantined and whatnot i mean we're quarantined but we're 
we're video game players and editors. We never fucking leave the house anyway. But, you know, once we get back in there, we'll, we'll kind of use the space in an interesting way. So hopefully we'll get back there. But it does totally bum me out that we're spending so much on rent and we can't use the thing so thank you so much to everyone who's been supporting us and um, we're making sure that everyone who works at noclip you know if they're a contractor or whatever that they're they're getting enough money from us at least that they can pay their rent and and and, and keep living as they are because some of the folks we work with have other jobs and and, and stuff like that you know we're, we're doing okay month over month but yeah if you're uh, at all you know it, it sounds terrible to ask during this whole thing it's why i hardly ever ask at all but you know if you like the stuff we do and, and you can spare us a couple of bucks a month yeah it would uh it would make a difference for sure it would be much appreciated and you can jump on our discord and, and get access to a bunch of extra stuff that is not up here on youtube in fact once when we hit i was about to say if when we hit half a million subs which might happen in the next week or so who knows i'm gonna put out something special for everyone it's one of our favorite patron exclusive videos and um, but just as a thank you to everyone here for subscribing uh, we're gonna put that up uh, on this channel as well um it's one of my favorite behind the scenes videos we've ever done it has maybe the best dance scene i've ever seen <laughs> in a no clip documentary and um, the patrons know exactly what i'm talking about uh, so yeah we're gonna put that up when we hit half a million with a little thank you note from myself okay that's the no clip update for may i guess and maybe june i don't know how often i'm gonna do this uh, but I, it seems like an elegant way to let you know what's going on you know we're a small team so it, it would be really easy to slow down if any sort of happens but uh thankfully we're all kind of doing all right we're putting stuff out now we had a bunch of stuff out last month we'll have a bunch of stuff up, uh, up this month but also that we're being smart and that like you know in three months four months five months six months time um we'll still have a steady pace of stuff coming out you know it's always been about doing as much of this as possible this all feels like a big game preservation sort of project to me um uh, you know i know people sometimes wonder why we do this is it just like you know promotional material done in a different way like obviously we don't get paid for any of this this is all you know crowdfunded and they don't nobody has any say over the edits like it's all it's all if anyone has any problem with the edits or the voice of the documentaries you can blame me it's not it's no one else's fault but for me it's all about preserving games gaming history and preserving these stories and also like exposing the story of game development to people because i think we have a lot of misunderstandings about that and you know pandemic or not that's still the mission so we're going to keep doing it so thank you so much uh, for supporting us thanks for being a subscriber uh, become a patron if you can if you want whatever no big deal if you, if you can't uh, we're, we're going to keep going and uh, yeah i hope you enjoy what's coming the creative assembly doc next week and the arcane doc uh, at the end of the month thanks for watching see you later Thank you.